Hello and welcome to 1987. We are here at Old Texas in an old NASCAR legend. And we're about to do some qualifying here as the number one car here today. Unfortunately, just a single split for this afternoon race on Wednesday. 1.7k strength of field and 19 people signed up, so unfortunately not uh, not too high participation as of right now, but that's all right. These cars don't always have the best participation anyway, and uh, 19's a pretty decent field. Should be good enough to have ourselves a fun race, I hope. Cars are already feeling looser here in or in qualifying than it was in practice, which is interesting. I think it's going to be really important not to get on the throttle too soon during this race. Not only while trying to do long run, but I think it can actually slow you down if you get on the throttle too early qualifying. So we'll get a 707. Easily the best I've gotten so far. If only because, uh, like I said, qualifying here the track seems a little faster than it was in practice. Thankfully able to take advantage of that and get a better time. We'll see if it sticks right now on the pole. And we'll go ahead and finish the second lap even though almost always in the Legends car, tire fall off is so quick that second lap, no matter how well you do it, you just don't have the same grip level. So yeah, I think a big thing, like I said, is going to be being patient on throttle. You can almost feel whenever the car kind of gets most of the way through the corner, it kind of... I don't know how to describe it. It kind of adjusts, kind of like get like right here, and then suddenly you're on the second half of the corner. And that's when you can start putting a little bit more throttle into it, but still don't want to smash it. I think being very gradual on the throttle, so that way I'm not putting a bunch of weight on the right front off the corner is going to really help with long run pace. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Really try to stick this bottom line where I can get the most rotation. Hopefully it'll uh, work out well for us. Texas is always a pretty good track for me, but see how it uh, works out here today. We'll do a practice pin stop as well. I'm kind of using a Texas sign on the outside over there. It's my brake marker. And that should be a good pit in, should we need it. All right, feeling pretty good. Right now, tenth and a half up on P2. James, I think I recognize from either Nick or Gavin's community. I think I recognize him as a guy that does a whole lot of 87 racing. So he'll know what he's doing. He's going to be tough competition here today. I'm sure he has a great idea of how to make this thing fast over the course of the race. So maybe I might even be able to learn something, especially a long run. Sometimes I can struggle a long run in this car. Sometimes I get a little too tight from overdriving it. And since the update, even way too loose sometimes from getting on the right rear too hard. So just gonna have to just gonna have to remain disciplined and uh, smart about how I drive. But with 30 seconds left of qualifying, we've got three people not quite ready yet for whatever reason. Either not doing laps, still doing their laps, or just I guess staring at the blue button. But that's okay. About ready to go anyway. I actually decided to do negative four in the steering offset because the default setup here was kind of feeling like the wheel was pulling to the right a little bit, and I prefer it to be straightforward, so kind of fixed it by doing about negative four degrees. And then brake bias back a little bit. I think I might end up using some brakes late run, potentially, but I don't want to go too far on it just for my own safety because if we have to do green flag pit stops... 
Uh, I could easily loop it if I forget to move it back forward, which I can almost guarantee you I will forget to move it back forward. So that's why I'm being a little conservative there. One to go. We do end up on pole. Up on the inside. Feeling Keep good. Session last lap. And uh, we could potentially have guys that aren't saving as hard off the start. So I'm going to let them go by if they are very eager to drive off into the sunset. <laughs> um, I would pr I'd rather be up front when it matters rather than on the first couple laps. You know how it is. And I do think it will be important to drive it a little easier for the long run pace. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on the guys behind me and such if they uh, wish to go by. I'll make it easy on them and uh, hopefully not hurt my own tires letting that happen. My internet's been worrying me a little bit. You can see it's doing things on the top right over here. I don't know why. I got a new Ethernet cable. Uh, it's fine most of the time, and then just sometimes it's just not great. I don't know. I have no explanation for it. I'm, I'm, gu I'm guessing it's on the ISPs, and nothing I can do about that except for call them and be like, Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> there are two additional I don't think that'll help anyway. And have a good run. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's just kind of barely peaking up once in a while, and then it'll go back to normal. Uh, if someone says I'm blinking, I'll give extra room and even back off if I need to, because it's on me if I cause a wreck because of my own bad connection. Hopefully it won't come to that, though. No, this is pole position. Hooray. Let's see if we can keep it up here. Here we start in. Let's see. Maybe a bit of a nice jump from first gear. I don't know. I think I'm going to do second gear, though. I think I like second gear. We could make it about 67 laps on one tank of fuel. That's pretty close to making it, honestly. That's actually quite interesting. If we get some quick cautions just uh, off the start here, might have to look at that. But otherwise the plan will be to stay out long, because you don't want to get trapped a lap down in these cars with these rolls. Stay out a little longer, but, you know, balance risk versus reward, I guess. Here we go. Get a decent enough jump, I'm happy with that. Feel out the corner, don't overdrive it. Alright, that should be good. We'll get through turn one. Lots of room behind already, so we can back off nice. Damn, son, you have the whole track. And they've wrecked already. Remember what I said about that fuel? Gonna keep an eye on that. I was on the brakes like a motherfucker. Yeah, I just slowed down and I didn't realize you were coming, sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, a wreck already. That didn't take too long. Pace car entering turn three. Pete Road is now open. Are open. Thanks, Ben. What do you say? I don't know if he was talking to me. Well, we'll save some fuel. We would have to save a lot to make it all the way, but... It's close enough that you never know. Can't hurt, I guess, to save some fuel. Couple people on pit road. There must have been a handful of guys caught up in that one. I see two at least. I 
but they're out before they go a lap down. Probably just fix fixing a little bit of damage. We're 11 laps short at the moment. So we would need a, a quite a few more cautions, I think, to make it. We will be single file now, as is the rule set for this series. Should spread out the field more. Hopefully prevent more wins. Four course yellow. Pits are open. So not the best start to this event, but still got plenty of time. Things to write the... Get right the back there. What am I trying to say? Go back in the right direction. I'm sorry, I'm like Porky Pig at the end of a Looney Tunes episode. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. That's all, folks. Race is over. Four laps in. Two to green. Saving some fuel. You can save quite a bit of fuel in this car, because it rolls a whole lot when you put it in neutral. It rolls really well. You can see, like, I'm basically keeping up with the pace car for half the turn, even while I'm in neutral. That means you uh, can go farther without having to use some throttle. We'll just go ahead and do a second gear start again. It worked just fine before. Don't need to get crazy with it and have to worry about doing a quick shift. First gear might be faster. Seemed kind of borderline, but second gear worked, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, on Alright, we have... It says outside line. Does that mean we're going to have some lap cars up here? Already? I didn't see anyone go lap down, but I guess maybe. We'll see if anyone comes up here or not. We'll protect the outside as necessary. Keeping an eye on my cue bar up there. Just a tiny little sliver of green, so that should be okay. Get ready, going green. Alright. Make sure I get into second gear again. Don't want to forget that important detail. The pace car is off. Be ready. Why am I getting pushed? Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Thing. Had an eager beaver back there, ready to go. Big lift off. So we've got some room again. We actually gained right there while still trying to do a big lift off, so I guess that means I can lift off even more. Even use a little bit of brake. No reason to go any faster than I need to. I've got the track position I need already.
We have survived a lap, though. That's good news. The guy behind has just done a 32.5. behind. Point eight behind. Already a second and a half back to third. That's making me worry that I'm overdriving, but I really don't feel like I am. I'm really just drifting it into the corner. Well, you know, easing it into the corner. Not drifting. Drifting would be bad. Drifting would be very bad. Just easing it into the corner. Oh, well, there's another caution. Pace car in turn two. Oh, what happened to the number two? Eight X or eighty, and I didn't even cause either one. Seven points. Nothing just happened. What happened to me last race? Somebody uh, getting off two, and if you're they might be hitting the wall, and you're not going to get out of the gas, then turn your wheel to the right or center it so that you don't come down off of it and hit the inside wall, and maybe somebody else. This is a tough call. I don't know if we can make We might be close to making it on fuel at I this point. I guess maybe I've been running too much Gen 4 at Indianapolis, but I find it like way hard to lose the car here. Yeah, we're, everyone else, else is staying out, it looks like. We're pretty close to making it on fuel, though. If we fill the tank up again. 6.8 gallons. It says 6.8, but I feel like that's a little bit much. Because this is saying 62 laps. Add 62 to the lap 10 where we are right now. Nine laps short. Yeah, I guess we would still be short, so. But you gotta factor in, we got some more pace laps to do. So it's really close. I'm trying to take care of my tires, but I feel like I'm still outpacing them. I don't know. But I'm not turning the wheel more than, like, 45 degrees in the turns. I'm kind of, uh... Say, I feel like I'm carrying way too much speed. What way should you go? I don't know. I didn't touch it. 12 to 1 might be a little aggressive on turning it. You change your brake bias? Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Negative. It's not about the spare of this track. It's about the, um, the power to put down. Yeah, I agree with that. I think uh, as long as you're not overdriving forward, exit. I mean, it doesn't feel like these have much power at all. Not pushing up out of the corner, yeah, I think, the should help. Getting the, like, if you were to go full bore accelerating out of the turns every time, eventually you're going to lose it. I'm still not 100 percent until corner exit. I'm usually about 50 to 75 percent. Like once I get back on the throttle in the turn, and then once once we start getting up toward the flat, that's when I push it down to 100. That'll help, and also if you lower your brake blast, that helps too. I think 46 is the lowest I'd be comfortable with here. Interesting insight. Oh yeah, thanks for the point of there. I, I don't use much brake until I start, until like later in the run. I, I ran a practice prior to this race just to kind of get a feel for the track. And once the tires started to wear, I noticed I was, you know, dragging brake a little bit in, into the corner, not using too much, but um, but it wasn't until, you know, like five, ten laps of the run that I was even like thinking about using brake. Already a handful of people out of this race. Nah, There's like 14 people the hell out of it. on track right now. Just lifting a good bit early. On the lead lap, anyway. Yeah. I'm usually trail breaking the hell out of it from like the minute the run starts, because it helps keep, especially if you have a brake bias back, it helps keep a lot of heat out of the front. Interesting. So the they're breaking from the start. Maybe I should be doing that. I'm still learning, so I'll definitely take that pointer to the heart there. Just got the discontinuity abnormal lap. I worry that means I'm blinking. Six point three gallons. Uh, guys, is there a single file restart there? Copy. Yep, yeah. single file lap cars to the inside. The way they have used to do it. Okay, thank you. All right. I think it's cool that when with the 87 cars, they decided to go to the old restart rules, too. Oh, that's cool. 
Is it just me, or is the graphics of like these cars look more, more modern ever since the last update? Maybe a little, I think. I don't know. I wish I they'd do know. single file for the Gen 4 series as well. No, they just, just look a little bit more modern. I don't know. Weird. I haven't checked the graphics card or anything. It's just, it looks more modern. I don't know. I noticed that last week when I was running the Xfinity cars for fairgrounds, I was like, oh, this looks pretty. All right. We're off once again. We'll use a little bit of break since uh, it sounds like that's what other guys are doing. Just a tiny bit. Should do us just fine. We get another caution here though in a couple laps. It might be time to fill the fuel up. back there. Maybe going a little bit faster. Sorry about that. That was a little... Oh my gosh, guys. This is unfortunate. I'm a high class. That wasn't dark. 15 quid, we didn't get the memo if you're coming out too, too hard uh, to keep your wheel straight. And then he also didn't get the menu. Everybody, or the memo, everybody says is keep the brakes on. So you don't come up and hit somebody. I think we're going to pit. So we've gone uh, 15 laps so far, and I think, what, three of those have been green? Yeah. 5.9 gallons. Two minutes optional repairs this time. <laughs> Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Definitely going to go at least one lap down. Already got some pit stops going on there. Three. I've been in here three times for repairs. Right here. I don't think I'm comfortable with slapping one of my two sets on until at least 50 to go. Yeah, I'm not putting a tire set on, but I need to be able to make it to the end I of the green. I just oh, been no. in here getting repaired for three, three different tracks. <laughs> this rate, you won't even need extra tires. The tires aren't so bad. There's something familiar than tires. 98's all around, 97 on the left front. A valid point there, sir. Where's the pace car in two? Obviously, we're going to be very patient. This move is just to ensure we can make it to the end on fuel. I'm surprised no one else came in. Full course yellow. Pits are open. I'm gonna leave lots of room because they're apparently uh, very eager to wreck. Car in two. Oh, probably three now. Someone uh, taking. Pace car on the front stretch, going to the cross start finish line. Taking some fuel, maybe. So we've got an estimated 66.8, so if we say 66, rounding down, we've got enough fuel to make it to the end. Heck, if they keep wrecking, though, they're not going to need fuel at all. 
does the middle or high line work at all on these cars, or is it, is it just pretty much bottom hugging? High line entry can work for the exit. Yeah, I know that exit off too gets a little tight sometimes. I think that would rip your tires to shreds too. Anything higher than the low line. Yeah, you can't really run it high no way. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Okay. Is there lucky dogs in this one? Yep, as long as you don't get a uh, zero X uh, for something more for X. Zero X and above will get there. So the guys behind, uh, I'm on old tires still, so if you're much faster, I'm not going to make it hard on you. Just be aware that I might not fire off as fast. Yeah, me too, Colton. Don't worry about me trying to overtake you. I'm going to be chilling. All right, Cole. Just want to make sure everybody back there knew the situation. Got a couple of guys still who uh, pit, but maybe didn't take tires. I pitted, I haven't taken any. <laughs> they should be flat by now. Why? Wow, we haven't done any racing. Yeah. My stop yeah, was we fully... Knocked stickers off of them, man. Fully a fuel... Yeah, they're gripped up now. Fuel play. Sorry. All right. Hopefully everything will go well here. Watch out for any accordion effect. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Down low. Still there at the bottom. A little softer. I have to get around him. Don't want to do that too much, but that was that felt kind of necessary. He might have damage or something. Go ahead, Cole. Power outside. Outside is clear. Thanks, man. Eighth place. All right. Just going to take our time. Lots of race left. Not going to run into the back of anybody or anything stupid like that. All right, Colton. A car Just feel good that we are uh, safe on fuel if this happens to go green. Or at least we should be, I hope. don't think everybody else would be. Going low. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. One point three gallons. One point three gallons. It's estimating. Interesting. So we've got some discrepancy here between my fuel calculator on Race Lab. And uh, I racing fuel calculator. Be interesting to see where that actually ends up. I feel like I can save one point, whatever it said, though. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. A slow mid corner for the four. Might want to try to set something up here.
Nice and calm, though. It looks like everybody's spread out pretty well. We could very well go green from here. Don't feel like I'm held up by the four anymore. I think we're actually pretty equal on speed. I'm just seeing two backing Clear off. Side, the Clear. I want to drive in too hard to that middle lane. That would be bad on the right front. Yeah, I'm just vibing and saving the tires. He's going long, long run. Plus, you guys are just quicker than me here, honestly. <laughs> Sixty-two. We're still good on fuel. I think we should be fine. Despite what Race Lab said. Car outside. Go low. Still there. Clear up top. Get around the four. Behind the five, it was in fifth place. Sixth place. Bit of a run here. Don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Don't think so. All about being patient here, both in uh, you know how long you wait to use your throttle, how uh, how we set up our passes, and how we plan them. Got to wait for the right moment. This is 1.1 gallons. Still, it says they were 8 laps to the good in the iRacing calculator, though. So, major difference there between what's being said. So, that's really interesting. Still pretty convinced that we're going to make it, though, just fine. Okay, Colton, the next car is Carter. Right on the five. Don't want to be behind him too close in the corners, though, because these cars get pretty loose if you're right on someone's spoiler. So I'm kind of making sure to leave plenty of room for him. Catching the nine, he seems to be getting uh, some tightness, perhaps. Five's going to come up and hit him almost. Yikes. New tires coming behind you. Copy that. New tires. Go low. P5. That last lap was at 34.0. I'll give you the inside. Oh, that guy's there. really close to my outside. A little scary. So we are P5. The number five, I think, did a pretty good job of saving tires. He's moving forward with us. We are top five and theoretically good on fuel. Linking guy on the outside, a little worrisome. Car 
Stay low. He doesn't have quite as much grip, so we should be able to get him easy on the exit. There we go. You're in fourth position. Oh god, don't run in the back of me. Oh my god, he entered so much harder. That was very scary. That's why he's falling off. He's entering much too hard. <laughs> Sometimes they start getting real big in your mirror, and it, it's a little unnerving. I missed the corner thinking about how... Air in there. Moved real sharply to the left. Car outside. It was inside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. He's got a big lead. See how well he's been saving tires, though. We'll start comparing our uh, relative per lap. Looks like at the line here we're 2.8. We'll see where that is next time around. Third place, though, and we're good on fuel. Big fan of that. So at the line, looks like it's going to be about 2.7, so about a tenth on the last lap, so really not doing too much. That's a small enough difference to be essentially negligible. So he's done an okay job out there of saving, I think. Plus, we've had to pass some people, which could be a little harder on the tires. But that's okay, because if you uh, remember, we took some fuel before. We're about 49 laps of fuel. Plenty good to make it to the end, and they have not pit. Looking at race labs here, the next closest person that had pit, and they were five laps before us, was James back there in P5. Let's do blipping in and out. So we're in great position if this thing goes green to the end. Who knows though, maybe they, uh, maybe they can save much more fuel than I thought and they're actually going to be good on fuel to the end. I feel like the 5 has done a better job than me. Saving tires, because he's kind of pulled away a little bit. That or I'm underdriving it. Doing a little bit too soft, not sure. But hey, can't feel too bad about uh, P3 and not having to pit until the end. Okay, or, you know, not having to pit at all. One point five behind us. Lots of room back there. Coming up on halfway here. Halfway. <laughs> kind of get on the apron a little bit there. Wanted to try to get as close as possible, but I got a little too close. No big deal. Car still feels great. Five looks like he's ready to go catch that three. I'm kind of just holding steady. Making any progress. But at least not losing any either, I don't think. A 
Long way to go still, just barely past halfway. Suddenly it looks like we're catching back up to the five. Maybe just a little bit. Could have just been a couple good corners, but I think he's lost some pace all of a sudden. Might be getting tight. Actually getting a little loose out of the corner. I might want to be careful. Sometimes I can be too harsh on the rear tires in this car and then get wrecking loose. So maybe I should ease up a little bit on exit. Thanks, nine. Really appreciate it. Oh no, don't rack. I really want this to go green. Didn't mean to run you out low, man. Holy shit. No. Stop making it sound like you guys are wrecking. I don't want that to happen. I'm very interested to see if everybody else can make it to the end. Three. Yeah, we're still good on fuel. Larry, you're killing me. Sorry, you can go high. Every time I go high, I wind up putting it in the wall. <laughs> Started easing off on an exit, and then all of a sudden I was not as fast anymore. Oops, there's some apron. That's a good way to not be as fast anymore, too. Start driving on the apron. We have been catching the leader, interestingly. Even if I have uh, occasionally lost on the five car in front of me. I'm already at 12 x from all those wrecks anyway, so. <laughs> 16 having a rough race. I was trying my best not to run you over. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't seem to get out of your way. Very interesting. We've got like a push and pull of distances in front of us. Hit something to the setup, it sucks here. Alright. Yeah, it looks like Why do I keep hitting the apron? A bit on there. You'd think I would learn. A lot. There was one turn I was behind you and I could see your tires turned and your car just pushing up the damn track. Leader's falling back pretty quick. He's at 1.7-ish now. Okay, yeah, like this now. I hit the wall. <laughs> 3.7 behind us. Though it is the two who was being very, very easy on the tires. So, who knows, maybe he'll come flying past near the end of the race. So we will keep an eye on that. But he's got a lot of ground to make up. Honestly, I've been on controller for about 10, 12 years, and I'm pretty much better with it than I do this thing. <laughs> Coming to 30 to go. Two days on the wheel, I'm ready to get rid of it. <laughs> He'll get it dialed in. We're all con coming together here. Five about to catch the three. I'm getting pretty close myself. actually still gaining on the guys behind at least compared to when I last checked still gonna be easy on exit because it does feel like it's getting a little loose the last thing I want is it to start getting sideways on me loose is fast but there is a limit 
And this car likes to take you to that limit and slap you in the face with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have arrived. We are right up on them now. This is getting interesting. I think it's real tight. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Good inside here, and I'm gonna back out early. Backing out early. Glad he said that, so we can figure it out. The next car's the leader. The car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. Outside. Keep low. Okay, Suddenly we are in the lead. Go low. I mean, I call it too fast though, we still have to pass them. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we're good on fuel to the end. I'm pretty happy with that call. Even if they can make it to the end, I've got some peace of mind, too. And I definitely don't have to save anymore. I don't think. I'll check again here in a moment. About 35 laps. Yeah, we're good. You're back in the lead. All right. Still a long way to go. Can't kill these tires. Still got to just keep it consistent. Or else they will come back to us, I'm sure. Even if we do have an advantage right now. That lap time was 34.2. I think they're side by side again back there. That's going to help me too. Don't mind seeing that. We have lap traffic coming up. That could get interesting. That was, uh, Though everyone in this race has been very polite, very kind. So I imagine uh, they'll probably give us room. The five has gotten around the three. Again, I think he got past him and then, I don't know, messed up a corner. Maybe the guy got in on his inside again. It looked like they were side by side. Could have been wrong, though. It's fine, you got loads. All right, Race Lab now agreeing that uh, we've got loads of fuel. Five's hanging in there, though. I'm not pulling away from him, necessarily. Is a car leaving the pits? have faster cars coming up. That's interesting. Inside. Clear inside. Bit of an awkward spot right there. Oh, he's racking back there. No! Why the fuck would you pinch me down that far? 
I was giving you the line, you asshole. Oh, he's mad. You're a fucking bitch. Oh my god, he's very mad. <laughs> I didn't really see what happened, I just saw him wrecking. I'm sorry, were those brand new sticker tires not sticky enough? I apologize. It's called letting the leaders by, staying out of fucking trouble, and not racing the leader like a jackass. Uh, bro, I'm in second place. I am the leader. Your last lap time was at 34.3. That's why I was letting you by. Well, that was weird. Anyway. <laughs> I was off the gas, and you're just forcing me more and more down the fucking track. I think, uh, the anger from that made him drive a little harder, because he's right on my bumper now. I don't think I underdrove it. Maybe I was distracted by it and underdriving, though. Did the leader still need to pit? I'm good on fuel. I pit earlier though. Yeah, I'm good as well, but we're the top two cars that got gas. Yeah, there's a little bit more than seven and up. I know the four pit with me, I think. Or at least pit earlier. The inside up here. I really hope this 13 doesn't intentionally wreck the five. Okay. That was a little unnecessarily scary, but we're okay. Just gonna maintain this uh, lead we have. Don't need to drive away. Fifteen to go. Don't know if the guy behind can make it on fuel or not. Is he still mad about that, or is that somebody else that he's mad at now? Alright, well, we got faster car coming up, who pit, got some tires, I think. We're gonna have to leave room for them. Half a second back to the next guy. Ooh, that got loose. Okay. Easy on the throttle. Gotta remember that. Where is he gonna catch me? I'll give you the bottom here. Go though. Thank you, thank you. No problem. It's gotta be as predictable as possible. Just I know he's gonna be flying in on those new tires. He's taking that middle line, weirdly. 
Looks like he's getting a pretty good cut down, though. Should uh, keep his pace up. Eleven to go now. Using it through. Oh wow, he gained a lot all of a sudden that last uh, couple of turns. Getting down to it, 10 laps to go, so maybe I start worrying about whether he's been saving a whole bunch or something. I see smoke. Like smoke. Boy, did I pick the right time to pit for fuel. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know if I was going to make it. Because I wasn't saving from the very, very beginning. Maybe guys who were saving from the very start might have saved enough to not have to pit this whole race. But I don't know if I had done what was necessary to do that. So I'm very happy I pit when I did. loose okay that's big loose I don't like that feeling that got loose mid corner which is a very scary feeling let's be very nice to the rear tires for the rest of this one Five's right back there. He's pushing all of a sudden. Trying to make things happen. Some guys running out of fuel, it sounds like. I hope they don't crash on pit entry. That sounds like something that would happen. Coming to five to go. Let's keep it green. Dylan, go ahead and take the outside. I'm saving gas here. Yeah. You guys really have to focus on saving yeah, fuel, it sounds yeah. like. You got five left to go. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Five's still out here. He hasn't gone and gotten fuel yet. He might be saving right now, though. Oh, did he just run out? He might have just run out. He just lost a ton of time, unless he's lifting off big. But he just lost like a whole second. He might be sputtering. That's a bummer for him. I thought it would be tough making it the whole way without pitting for fuel. I think if it ends now, it might uh, be end of the race. So we're in a pretty good position right now. That being first place. <laughs> Generally a good position to be in.
I don't think he's out of fuel. I think he's saving real big, though. He's got loads of fuel. Loads of fuel. We still have 11 laps left, so we're good. We are plenty good. They decided to go green at just the right time for me. I could have taken tires, and it would have been fine. I'd love to finish this under green conditions, though. Yeah, as long as we can make it to the line here, we'll be able to do so. White flag, nice and smooth. And we've done it. We've made it to the white flag. No more cautions. Come on, Colton. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. That last lap was a 34.5. Whole race on one set of tires, and we pit for fuel at just the right time, and it pays off big. Gotta love it. I'll overdrive the final corner for no reason, but that's okay, because we're still going to get the win. Alright. We'll win by about 11-something seconds, because the other guy did run out of fuel, it looks like. Yeah, we did it. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Alright. Now I'm going to self-spin on the outlap, or the pull-down lap. <laughs> I believe we have ourselves a uh, straight. One, two, three, four, five. Got positions. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, interesting. Cannot believe I made the no-stop work. She stumbled at the lot. Man. Good job to ever who didn't pit. Wow. I can't believe it. Not even a switch of a tire. Yeah, that's an impressive amount of fuel saving. <laughs> Tires. You did pretty well there. I was watching you, James, and then I ran out off of four. Yeah, Colton, I pitted the first time with you, and I, I, I couldn't keep my tires in optimal range. I, I just I wore them out too quickly, so I had to pit. And I just saw that you were in P1. Uh, good job. Yeah, thanks. It was definitely getting loose on at the end there for me. I was kind of getting sketchy on exit, but thankfully it held together. Hey, Colton. 25, 34. Not believe I didn't even get a tire warning. 59 after 80 laps. Holy crap. <laughs> nice. I was at 41. 62 on the right front. Interesting hearing all the different tire readings. I, was... I wasn't even trying to fuel save. I just, my natural tire conservation way of driving, I just have so little throttle into it that I looked, I'm like, oh, hey, I just managed to save three of the six laps I needed. I might actually be able to stretch this out. That's crazy, especially not even no. trying. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to. Throttle? I wouldn't have been able to make it in a length. I was full throttle on the straightaways all the way until like 20 to go and when I saw that I needed just a little more and when I, I started to get a, uh, a gap on you and Seb I just was going like half throttle and Incidents. Like really hardcore fuel saving the last 15 hmm. laps while trying to keep up and try to pass Michael. This was our first wreck on the lap, on the first lap. 15 just kind of drifts up too far into the 13, it looked like. Yeah, I was getting really loose coming out. That was a big net coat, but he was still going to hit him anyway. The tires, but... I was starting to get tight. That's why I was... I was just trying to conserve it after I got loose. Yeah, I, I was... I'm starting to get tight, even with how much I save. But that's why I was having to save more fuel because I was having to put more throttle into it, trying to get it to rotate. Fourteen got loose down low. What, what hit the apron. Did you pit on number two, James? Oh, I pit. I stayed up. I could not save enough gas to save my life. I had the right tires, but no gas. Do you need the clutch? 
I was at the end. I'm about to spin myself out trying to save. 13 comes up and gets a 15. Yeah, I was using the clutch a lot under the car. You sure got really angry at another person for messing up. For someone that already made a mistake this very race. Oh my gosh, what happened to the 18? He just stopped turning. I don't know if he was not paying attention or what, or the wheel broke for a second. That was weird. You get it back. 16, there's nothing going on there. Lap 13, that's a uh, quad oval wall hit. Alright, y'all have a good one. I will probably see most of you guys next Wait, where is the series even at next week? Big wreck there. 15 more trouble. No idea, but I'll see you there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where this uh, series goes next. Okay, stay tuned. I will not see any of you next week. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe not then. I agree with you on that one. I will be doing one race just to get the credit. <laughs> nope, I am getting my credit by running. Uh, Michigan, Texas, Fairgrounds, Dover, Daytona Road, Bristol, Richmond, and either Homestead or Atlanta. Yeah, I might do Daytona, Daytona but that's going to be lower on my priority list for sure. Yes, Daytona Road. I'm one of the psychopaths that actually really enjoys driving this car on road. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Are we going from Interesting, Road Daytona to Road Course coming up for this. Granada in the next few weeks, I'm like, I should try to get some credit, uh, yeah, get my races in while I can, and hopefully we don't have any hair anything. Nah, okay, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Awesome. Get back to this. Back to our regularly scheduled wall hits. Yeah, have fun with that. That sounds awesome. Pit entries. Yeah, Some tires dying, I think. That looks like a right front about to go down, if not down already. The six was blinking a little I'm bit. I'm hoping it's the week of the Daytona, of course. Although, right. honestly, it's going to be next week. Nine next got a little week. loose in under the wall. Probably some more wall hits here. I don't think we're going to yeah, see too Daytona much. Daytona Road is the week of July 17th. Uh, yeah, yeah. 18 I, does it again. Could race that one day. It'll be just back. Oh, Blinking. I've got to hear that a little bit. Ooh. I don't even like GT3s there. This is what the 13 was mad about. Yeah, the bus stop in turn one sure is going to be some. Yeah. <laughs> bus, yeah turn one. Uh, <laughs> five gave him plenty of room. But then again, <laughs> that is not on the five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, needless to say, I'll... He gave so much room, him, man. But... I mean, he's got two car widths oh, I want to see here. Current cup he's just driving on the apron. That'd be awesome. I mean, they did them wrong. So. Like, that's on the 13. I wish they could make the garage 56. Why does it keep doing that stuff? Car? I think that would race a lot better. Six is blinking still. What changes did I make to it? Eight. We haven't seen the eight at all. That's probably just tires hitting a critical point. We're probably going to get a couple more of those around this time of the race. Blinking. And we're almost to the end of this thing. Lap 68 right now. Is this some contact or is this a blink again? It's a blink again. Here's me. Probably one of my tires hitting below 50%. Or worse. Ooh, the nine got wall entry, or the uh, corner entry there. Good. Not knowledgeable of the technical aspects of everything, so I'm admittedly not the first to ask for those specs. Pretty cool they won the. Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything else, to be honest. Back. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense when you think about it, because, like. LMP so I guess I'll go ahead and say goodbye. 
since I'm just gonna cycle through the rest of these blinks probably. Thank you for watching, we got the win here today. Feels pretty good to have made the right call with fuel, because I don't think I would have been able to save the whole way like some of these other guys did. Just don't know if I had that in me, because that was a lot of fuel to save. But thankfully I didn't have to make that effort. Hit at the right time, was able to make my way back forward. And pull off a convincing victory. Ended up 13 seconds after the five was running out of fuel. And only five guys on the lead lap. So, a little messy at the start, but then we got the huge long run to end the race. So, that was pretty good. Pretty fun. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.